If you live in a cold climate and want to stay warm and also look chic, or maybe you're traveling somewhere cooler and you want to look fabulous on your trip, then this is the video for you. In this video, I'm going to break down all of my favorite winter coats and jackets. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about winter coats and jackets. I'm going to break these down by category. We're going to go into different types of winter coats and jackets, different brands, from luxury to more affordable. I want to share with you guys all of the brands that are go-tos for me that I think make fabulous, high quality, stylish coats and jackets. So again, talked about this before, I'm always looking for the perfect marriage of fashion and function. I don't think it can be understated enough that your winter coat or jacket has to be functional, like especially in a more extreme climate. This is an area where I might consider upgrading or spending a bit more money and getting that piece that really is super high quality to keep you as warm and toasty warm as possible. Category number one is puffer coats and jackets. There are two pieces I wanna talk about that I wear over and over and over and over and over again. One is the Airno puffer coat that I have. It has a funnel neck, so a high neck to keep your neck warm. It's in this really lovely taupe color, which I think is very soft and feminine and flattering and neutral and versatile. It's very lightweight, very luxurious. It's a more expensive brand for sure. Italian made, just gorgeous, gorgeous coats and jackets. They make a lot of cropped or three quarter sleeve puffers too that really layer beautifully under other coats. So if you maybe wanted to do a wool coat and add a little puffer layer underneath, Erno is great for that. The second piece I wanted to show you or remind you of is the Sam New York puffer jacket. This is a piece I've had for many years. I've actually purchased additional Sam jackets and coats since buying this navy jacket, which I absolutely love. It's very sporty. I could totally ski in this if I wanted to. What I love about the Sam jackets is that they are kind of edgy and sporty. They're also very stylish and modern, and they're incredibly warm and very, very well made. The other cool thing about the Sam puffers is that they always go on sale. So if you're like, I don't wanna pay full price for that, I like just wait, wait till after Christmas. Like they will go on sale. And they are always around. Like how many years has it been around? A long time. So I would say puffer coats in general or puffer jackets in general are the warmest coats. I mean, I think if you live in a cooler climate like me, you probably have a puffer. If you don't, the other option that you can look at is a parka. I like a parka, but it feels a little on the sportier side for me, or even more on the masculine side for me, so I don't love wearing parkas. Like I feel like there's enough puffer coats and jackets out there now that have design elements that make them feel more feminine. Parkas, eh, it's a little trickier, right? I feel like a parka is like go-to for men. So a couple of brands in the parka department are Canada Goose, which is sort of like the gold standard parka and very luxurious, very high quality. An alternative to that that's a lot more affordable and really nice looking is the Land's End parka. Here it is in red. I have this, I can tell you it's very warm. It is longer, so it covers the bum, which is really nice. It cinches at the waist. I think for a parka, this is a pretty elegant piece. But again, that's not my first choice. Like if you're just choosing one really warm winter coat, I would go with a really beautiful puffer. It's really nice now that you do have these options where there are more thoughtful designs and more modern silhouettes and a variety of colors. So you really can get something in the puffer department that feels a lot more designed and fashion forward, which is exciting. Let's talk about skiing for a minute, because I know some of you ski, or some of you, maybe your kids ski, so you're thinking about gear and what to buy, but for those of you specifically, women who ski and wanna look amazing on the slopes, two of my favorite luxury brands, and there's a huge discrepancy between the two in terms of price point, but the first one is Perfect Moment. Perfect Moment has some really cool, interesting pieces Pieces. and I have one that I bought that's like houndstooth, a houndstooth ski jacket, which I just thought was so fun. I know we're not talking about ski pants, but I just wanted to mention it since I was talking about Perfect Moment. I absolutely love the Perfect Moment ski pants because they have the true bibs. It feels so much sleeker and it feels so much more comfortable to ski in this, you know, more streamlined bib snow pant. 
and they're very flattering. A lot of them have this cool star at the bottom and then the zip. For the ski pants, I have these in both, this is kind of like an off-white, and I also have them in black. They run a little small. Like I, these are the small and it's a little bit like, whoa. <laughs> I would say pretty true to size, if, if between size up. The other brand I want to mention, I discovered only because of where I live and we, we live in a ski resort town. We have access to all of like the best of the best ski gear brands. And this one is out of Kitzbühel, Austria, and it's called Sportalm. And I have a ski jacket by Sportalm. It's just fabulous. But that's a huge investment. Also a big investment would be Montclair ski jacket. And those are very beautiful, very stylish, very elegant. Another brand that would be a little bit less would be Bogner. Still like super luxury. If you are shopping for your husband in the like winter coat department, my husband loves Arcteric. He says it's like the warmest coat he's ever put on his body. And he like walks the dog in two degrees outside and you know, first thing in the morning. So they make a really, really warm parka. And I think you can wear that skiing too. In terms of being more affordable, so if maybe you don't ski that much and you don't wanna really make that big investment, I would look at the brand Nils, N-I-L-S. I think they make beautiful ski gear that is very high quality that will last for years and years and years. But again, it's not gonna be these huge you know, luxury price point. That's the brand I would look at for a more affordable option. The next category is faux fur, faux shearling. There are two pieces I wanted to highlight in this category. The first coat I wanna highlight is this gorgeous, Cobalt Blue Faux Fur by Millie. I highlighted it in a, another video, I think the holiday outfit one, but I love this one. I love the softness of it. I love the warmth of it. The color is just stunning and it's so, so glamorous. So it's really nice when you live in a cooler climate to occasionally throw on something that makes you feel super glamorous. I am all about that. Like last night, I was taking the kids to get ski gear and I threw on my, this, the second piece I wanna feature, which is the Vince Teddy coat. So I threw on this like Teddy coat in, in beige and then I put on my little faux fur hat from Poland in the same color and then I put on my moo boots. It's so simple, it's so warm, like it's like the warmest combination, but it's so glamorous too and it just feels good to wear that. I do not hesitate. I think I dial up the glam more in the winter than I do any other time of year. I wanted to make sure that you feel as though you have permission to wear something really fabulous and glamorous during the winter season. It doesn't always have to be the same old black puffer day in and day out. Wear something every once in a while that really makes you feel special. One brand I wanted to mention that makes beautiful pieces that are high quality that don't break the bank is Aparis, A-P-P-A-R-I-S. And they have like every color of the rainbow faux fur. The next category I wanna talk about are wool coats. Wool coats in general, I would say are not going to be as warm as those puffer or faux fur or faux shearling or parka coats and jackets. Okay, so that's just something to think about. I have often talked about layering a wool coat over a puffer as a way of kind of wearing that more elegant wool coat, but having the warmth of the warmer coat. So you just layer. But I'm gonna show you a couple pieces that they would work really well if you are in a warmer climate, like let's say Texas, Florida, Arizona, California, where it just gets a little chilly. You just need something to take the chill away. And the first one is the Sam Edelman military style trench coat. This one is wool and faux leather. I got this during the Nordstrom sale and I love the green and the black combination. I love the mixed media that it's wool and leather, faux leather, and I love the belted waist, the length, it's all good. Again, not gonna be the warmest coat, just so it just depends on where you are, where you live, what your situation is. And then the second one is also by Sam Edelman and this is a new purchase and it is very thin for a wool coat. I'll wear it when it's like, 40, 45 outside. I'm not gonna wear it when it's 30, I'm not gonna wear it when it's 20, and certainly not anything lower than 20. But if you're in a warmer place, this is such a beautiful piece. It really is a classic piece. It has the double-breasted gold buttons that looks very much like that. Gorgeous Bellman blazer I always feature. It's just a really polished, elegant, beautiful piece. I think both of these are really cool, really chic, really stylish, very high quality, but neither one of them are gonna be like next level warm. One other thing to consider when you're buying those wool coats 
is how fitted are they? If you plan to wear them over you know, sweaters or thicker tops or whatever, you're gonna wanna maybe have a little room in the shoulders, a little room in the body to layer over those pieces. So it's just something to consider. You know, you may even wanna have like a wool coat that you can wear with like just those like kind of silkier blouses and then you have that's more fitted and dramatic and then you have the wool coat that, you know, you really can throw over any sweater. I kind of stopped buying the big bulky sweaters, you know, either big bulky sleeves or big, you know, oversized giant bulky sweaters because I was having that issue all the time. And when I really wanted to wear those sweaters is like in the middle of winter, I really couldn't put anything over it. And so I stopped buying them. One brand I wanted to mention in the wool coat category is Macage. That is a Canadian brand. They make exquisite coats and jackets. I love this brand. I've loved the brand for many, 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 many years. And I think you, if you're looking for an elevated, really luxurious, beautifully made, you know, thoughtfully designed, standout kind of wool coat, that's where I would go. I would just go in to Saks or Nordstrom or wherever and type in Macage, M-A-C-K-A-G-E. The next category is sporty jackets. And I know we just did talk about ski jackets, but in this category, I wanna talk about the sporty jackets, those pieces that you would wear, like let's say walking the dog, walking with a friend, going to the gym, going to your exercise class, maybe you're going to bar or Pilates. These are really handy to have, really nice to be able to throw on. You know, these are pieces that for me in the spring and the fall, I wear at the kids' sporting games. They really do get a lot of use. And so here again, I, I wouldn't like throw it away. I'd probably put a little time, effort, and energy into it because you will, especially if you have kids, you will wear them over and over and over again, not just in the winter, but also in the spring and the fall. My two favorites are this one by Aloe Yoga. It is like a fuzzy, furry, teddy kind of jacket. It has a, a big oversized hood in the back and it is a little bit on the shorter side. I really just love the fit and the color of this jacket. And then I also also have one in black that I absolutely love by Blank Noir and you guys have seen this one. I styled it recently with some leggings and combat boots. So you really, there's a lot of crossover with both of these sporty jackets. You can, you know, wear them with regular everyday clothes, but they just look really good with sports outfits too. So my Blank Noir is a much lighter weight jacket, I would say. So if it's a really cold winter day, it wouldn't be, wouldn't be enough. You'd have to really add some more layers, either under, make sure you wear the hat, make sure you have the good boots, all of it. A couple of other brands I didn't mention, but I thought were worth mentioning are Nicole Benesidi and Para Jumpers. They both make excellent, wonderful, uh, winter coats and jackets. I also wanted to say, don't forget about your accessories. So, you know, my story where I was dialing up the glam with the faux fur hat and the, and the boots and the, you know, make sure you choose thoughtful accessories that are, that mix of fashion and function too, that are going to elevate the look. So there's your opportunity to really take something from like, okay, to, you know, this like super winter goddess. Why wouldn't we want to look like a winter goddess? What is your favorite winter coat or jacket brand? What is the warmest and most stylish coat that you own? We would love to hear about that. That way people can kind of scroll through the comments and see what other people are really loving. It'll save us the like <laughs> the time and the energy. So don't keep that to yourself. Make sure you share it. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you've already subscribed, maybe you could share my channel over on your Facebook page. I'd really appreciate it. We will put links just like always of everything that I featured in this video in the description box below. Let us know if you have any questions at all. And if there's any other winter topics or winter specific topics that you would love to hear more about, let us know that too. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Love you all. See you next time. Bye-bye.